morning. Great to be with you. Yes, another Monday. You are with George and Growth Point, growing as you're going through life. And thank you for watching and being part of what I'm desiring to do again. Yes, is to allow you to walk through life, understanding again who you are in Christ Jesus. And today, as we start this new week, do you have a seat at God's table? Now, remember, Last week I ended by saying that even if you are like the prodigal and you've fallen away from God and you lost your way, you're able to find your way back to God and you will find God waiting for you. That's the beauty of God. God is always watching and waiting for those who belong to Him to return to Him. Now again, all of humanity belongs to God, not so. And so God is waiting for all of the of His creation to return to to him now i want to say to you this never doubt who you are in the person of christ jesus you have been accepted into god's family through his son christ jesus who paid the full price upon the cross of calvary for you <laughs> there is nothing more for you to do all you have to do is accept jesus christ as lord and savior of your life eternity dwells inside of you through Holy Spirit who's come to dwell in you. <laughs> now, if you die, you know what? You go to be with the Father because Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you. He has set a table for you at Father's table. <laughs> now, again, we, we, we break bread often together. Why? To remind us of that, of what Jesus Christ has done for us. To remind us there is a feast waiting for us one day when we step out of this life into the next. You know what? God is waiting for you to welcome you home. Now, our relationship with God can never be broken. Notice this. Why? Because we're all born from God. But our fellowship with God can be interrupted. Now, many have a interrupted fellowship with God. How do I get back into the fellowship of God? By accepting the finished work of the cross of Calvary, a work that is finished. <laughs> Who finished it for you and I? Jesus finished it upon the cross of Calvary for you and I. So we know this by what happened to Adam and Eve when they broke fellowship with God. They had to leave. <laughs> Not so. They could no longer fellowship with God because they broke fellowship by accepting that what the devil spoke over their lives and into their lives and they turned from God and accepted him and accepted uh, as as part of their fellowship now no longer God oh wow isn't that crazy to think that you see when God did not find them in the usual spot in the garden he went looking for them this is wonder thing about God God is always looking for his lost not Jesus said, he, uh, a good shepherd leaves his 99 behind and he goes after the one who is lost to rescue him, to bring him back into the fold. This is what Jesus did for me. <laughs> the day that I accepted him as Lord and Savior of my life, I was lost. For 20 years of my life, I was lost. And then I was found and I was brought into fellowship with Father God. God became my Father who I could now have a conversation with, I could fellowship with. Now listen, because of their disobedience, Adam and Eve, they were put out of the garden. Their fellowship was interrupted by their Father. Their source of life remained God their Father. So their source of life was still God. But again, their fellowship was interrupted by the devil. Now, when Jesus cried out on the cross, it is finished. Fellowship between man and God was restored. This is the beauty of it. Our fellowship with God is now restored. Our relationship, not just our fellowship, but our relationship and our fellowship has been restored. Now I know who I am in God. Not so. God is my father. Remember last week I said he's our Abba. Not so our daddy. And so we call him our Abba, our father. You are an eternal being. Notice all of humanity belongs to God. Listen to what the writer writes in John chapter 10. And here Jesus himself is speaking. It's written in red. I give to them eternal life and they shall by no means perish forever. And no one shall snatch them out of my hand. As long as you're in there, no one will be able to snatch us out. My father who has given them to me 
is greater than all and no one can snatch them out of my father's hand the only one the only one that can remove us out of the presence of god out of fellowship with god is you and so again we need to understand that we are part of god and god is part of us we are part of god and god is part of us god wants to fellowship with us god wants to spend time with us god wants to have a conversation with us god wants to spend every day with us this is how much god loves us to spend every day with us so so this is what we do each and every morning we hand over our day to our father and we call him our father which art in heaven your name may we keep it holy every single moment of the day so why not ask him today to be part of your daily life